It won't help you foresee lottery numbers, but a local scientist says all of us can see the future. We're going to show you how it's not mysticism, but science behind it. it has to guess the future so that it can perceive the present. A Capital Region scientist says humans have the ability to visually see the future, and you probably do it without realizing it at all. A researcher at RPI says our eyes can predict what will happen before it actually does. It's part of the same reason why optical illusions make us think we're seeing one thing when it's actually another. New at 6, News 10's Mark O'Brien shows us how. It's not long, but for a fraction of a second, your eyes essentially see the future. The very fact that I, you know, that I can throw something in the air and catch it means that we can do this kind of thing very well. Yeah. Cognitive scientist Mar Changizi of RPI is the first to come up with the theory. You're having to create your perception, guessing what's going to be out there in the next moment. Here's how he says it works. When your eyes see something, say a school bus driving down the street, the information is sent to your brain. But that takes about a tenth of a second, so your brain has to guess where the object will end up a tenth of a second into the future. Otherwise, you'd be bumping into, you wouldn't be able to make any decisions appropriately because you'd see, everything that you see would be a little bit delayed. Meaning, instead of catching a ball, it would hit you in the face. Instead of driving down the road, you might hit cars as they stopped in front of you. Changizi says this also explains why optical illusions fool us. In this case, the red lines right around the center of the grid appear to bulge. That's because these black lines trick the brain into thinking you're actually moving toward the center. It might be a lot to take in. Dare we say you don't quite see what he's talking about. But that's okay. Your brain will do it anyway guessing the future so you can see the present. Otherwise, we'd all be living in the recent past and, and just not be able to interact with the world appropriately. Mark O'Brien, News 10.